Anyway, I'm glad you're alive. Anyway? What do you mean, anyway? You don't sound very happy to see me. I was almost killed back there. Why didn't you try to save me? All you care about is that dead wife of yours. I've never been so scared in my whole life. Lost? Just like that stupid dog. Yeah, come and do. You can't just kill someone because of the way they looked at you. I don't know. Maybe I did. What's a little girl like you doing here anyway? Huh? Are you blind or something? Oh, it's you. Did you put the gun to their head? Hi everyone, welcome back to the stream. This time I'm streaming Silent Hill 2, but I'm doing it for practice and whatnot because I'm planning on doing an in-depth let's play. I want to start that. Oops, hit my mic. I'm starting an in-depth let's play for it and I need to replay it a couple times, um, figure out what I'm going to show and all that good stuff. So I decided I'll, I'll, let's be kind of a low-key thing. I'm just going to go through it, you know. I, if you really want to talk about Silent Hill in the chat room, that'd be great. If not, just want to watch me go through it, that's cool too. I am streaming to raise money for Extra Life all year round. I'm trying to raise money for UCF Benioff Children's Hospital. My goal is $1,000. I have almost $700 now, um, so that's really exciting. Uh... Now I'm going to try playing this on hard because I did my Sun Hill 1 Let's Play on hard. I'm not sure how well I'll do. Riddle level, I'm going to keep on normal for now because I don't really remember the puzzles very well and I want to give myself a fighting chance. Oh, you're going to stay in my room? Okay. Close my door. Oh, I'm also playing the Enhance Edition. It's the mod fans have made to make this really, really nice, nice uh, uh, playthrough for the game. Um, graphics, high res, um, better Mary, sound quality. Could you really be in this town? Fun fact, I, uh, I was on a podcast last um, weekend to talk about Silent Hill 2, so I did a little research. That's why I'm kind of amped to start my uh, Let's Play for this. Uh, I learned that this was actually the very first room that was modeled. And it was sort of like the graphical bible for the the look of the environments of the entire game so if you like you look around you see broken tile you see little kind of wet it seems like it's mold damage and all that good stuff very grungy i thought that was kind of neat um oh and another cool little fact uh, that i learned was that the mirrors they made this just by uh, doubling the the room and uh, James's model, so <laughs> that's how they decided to make the mirrors with this. Okay, I picked up the chilling stone, right? Okay, so I've already played through this uh, uh, once, like a full, no, no, twice, because I did play through this for the charity stream, and I was going to play this tonight to get all the endings, and but one of my friends was nice enough to give me a save file with all the endings on it. So now I'm just kind of just going through it to familiar, familiar, precise, oh my god, I can't say that word. Familiarize myself with the game again so I can uh, talk about it at length. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. I 
got a letter. The name on the envelope said, Mary. My wife's name. It's ridiculous. Oh, hello. Could yeah, it you possibly be day. true? How's your day? That's what I keep telling myself. A dead person can't write a letter. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. Did she? I don't think she did. So then, why am I looking for her? Our special place. What could she mean? This whole town was our special place. Does she mean the park on the lake? We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us, staring at the water. Could Mary really be there? Is she really alive? Waiting for me? Well, my, my stream's not gonna be completely in-depth, but my Let's Play I wanna put together will be. This is just me fooling around, getting familiar with the game again, kind of figure out uh, how I want to break up the parts, all that good stuff. Hey, Rambo. <laughs> she might be. She She's learned how to uh, rise from the dead and write letters. Are you sure you don't want to go? Let, let's, let's just go, James. Just, okay. Another fun fact is Toluca Lake here is a real, it's a edited photo of a lake in England. Dirt water, is that it? The name of it? Uh, and uh, actually, uh, my friend who's part of the Enhanced Edition uh, team, he had me download some stock photos for him so he could kind of re-edit this, make a cleaner version of the Photoshop. Yes, he does. There's nothing on the passenger seat. Are we sure about that? Look in the trunk. Nope. Hey! Welcome, welcome. little weird it's it's all gated off maybe you should just go home no okay ah oh, that sign makes me laugh <laughs> Sybil came a long way to check out what was going on in Silent Hill hey the gang's all here <laughs> oh man yes I wish uh, I wish these games were available on Steam I mean the PC ports you know, aren't the best. Uh, but so many people want to check these out. I mean, it's not all homecomings on here. Why can't they put the other ones on? Hey, Rainbow. How you doing tonight? You made it. without even encountering an enemy. You take your time going down this path. Ooh, how can you sit there eating pizza? They actually really took a big risk by just, you know, letting you run with no encounters and stuff. I remember when this came out and people were talking about this game, 
they were saying like they were so unnerved just going down the path to Silent Hill. <laughs> Excuse me, I... <gasps> oh, I, I'm sorry. I... I was just... No, it's just... okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? lost? Yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think you'd better stay away. This... Uh... Th this town... There's something wrong with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the... Bog either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just, I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town either way. But why? He got business. I'm looking for someone. Who, who, who is it? Someone. Very important to me. I'd do anything if I could be with her again. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but... I can't find them either. I I'm sorry. It's not your no, problem. I, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. Uh, yeah, I can see that the CG scenes uh, kind of has a similar effect. As remember when um, certain TVs you could put effect where it would would raise the frame rate or something, and it ended up looking like a soap opera, like The Matrix and whatnot. It's pretty funny. Oh. uh... The, her voice actor right now is actually Donna Burke. She uh, she also vo voices uh, Claudia in Silent Hill 3, and she does a lot of singing in the Metal Gear Solid games. She's actually a voice director and stuff now. I think she has her own company. Aren't you Zora looking for Bailey, someone? The the new That's voice right. actress. I can't. I don't remember the HD voices besides um, Troy Baker and. Um, uh, Mary Elizabeth Lynn. What is it? Oh, nothing. Sure is quiet here, huh? I guess. I guess. <laughs> She's like, fuck off, James. Fun fact I learned was that Akira Yamaoka, he recorded a hundred different types of footsteps for making this game. 
to add variety, I guess, in, in the different areas. Comic Sans. That just cut off. <laughs> things. <laughs> uh, I gotta check, see if that, uh, that texture is of Hitler. I think it's the mustache. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't want steps, I want dialogue. Yes, he's on the floor where he belongs. <laughs> I found this little road to be really weird. It's so skinny, like a van would just get probably stuck. Or at least scrape something. found James's running to be a little bit amusing because he wiggles his butt back and forth. Woo! It's like he's sashaying while he's running. Oh, what does that say? Road construction ahead. Oh. Yeah, it's like a, bi a bike path. Oh, what does that say? Road, the road runner. Aw, little horses. Oh, is that an Indian? Uh, Native American? Oh, probably. Uh. Oh. Silent Hill Farms. Look at that butt wiggle. Woo! I do remember that there's a first aid kit right over here. Hey, let's get some flowers for uh, Mary. Oh, it's closed. That's too bad. Is this, is this the van from the opening with Laura and Eddie? Well, maybe. Alright. Alright, let's go. Are these Mark's blood? Shadow just now. 
Yeah, we don't need to follow it. Aw, oh, man. Wait, can I do the... <laughs> can I do the, the Cheryl trick in this game? Oh, nope. Okay. <sighs> what I really liked about Silent Hill is that they they took the time to name different shops and make little different facades, front facades for all the stores. It makes it interesting to look at when you're traveling around town. Sounds like a relaxing place to have a drink. I bet it's noisy as hell. <laughs> oh, there it is. Girls? Is that girls, girls, girls? Ooh. I think that's what it says. It must be a billboard for Heaven's Night or something. Hmm. So, I'm actually going to save because my game crashed the other time. Where was I? Creature? I don't know. I mean, we saw it eating it, so I would assume. Where, wait, where's the dead guy? Where's the dead creature? No. Nope. Did it just disappear? I guess it did. All right. Oh yeah. Oh, definitely. I think it's probably the least scary of the entire series. Well, besides maybe Shattered Memories. Why did you kill me? What Jam? The? I'd better take it anyway. I might need it. Oh, look at that! 
He's trailing blood. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I find this game pretty low key. Probably the most relaxing Silent Hill to play, in my opinion. I mean, it's depressing, but you can really go without fighting anything in this game. Definitely. On me, I forgot. It's not like an uh, area where I can read the text. It's gonna cave in on the road, can't go any further this way. Oh, oh. Can't make it to the park this way, I have to find another way. I should not be reading this with uh, enemies. <laughs> Do you guys remember when the game came out and the guide was like, yeah, you can unlock what that says if you beat it, and you never could? That was disappointing. to hack into the game to actually see it. But at least now we have we have the full text online. But it's still disappointing. Maybe that was something that they meant to do and they just never did. Or some mistake, you know, kind of how uh, the US version of Silent Hill 1 doesn't have the note. smacks into things. It sure is. I could never do it. I wonder what that's a poster of. the twist for you? That's not cool. Gonzalez Mexican Starant. Where's the R? Mexican Open! <laughs> I like the English. Welcome. Mm. 
I always thought, you know, was a really creepy design was to put up these these fabric fences. It's like being shrouded, like, you know, the dust covers and stuff. That's what it kind of reminds me of. It's such a creepy see, uh, thing to see like that in just the middle of the road. That would have been a funny ending to Resident Evil 3. <laughs> Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh. I don't know what color this is. It's probably not that great of a color because I don't play. Didn't play that well the last time. What is it? Wait. No. That's strafe. That's why. I couldn't tell what color that was. I think it's just the normal color. It's white. Is that the lowest color you can get? <laughs> oh, wait, a bar Neely's. Mm. Green is the, the highest one, right? I definitely should look that up because I don't remember. I've never 10 star any Silent Hill game. <laughs> uh. The thing would always get me is you need, uh, you need to beat it really fast and you need to be accurate with your shooting and stuff and I never was. Oh, it's second? Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Go check out the bar. Chiropractic and sports injury center. <laughs> That's an odd thing to put in the game. That's creepy. All right. Looks like there's something on Martin Street. Guess we should check it out. What's that symbol? It's a question mark, James. I mean, I know you're a little, little slow there, but come on, man. <laughs> Not fun to change this white spray. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah, I, um, I believe I was playing with a guide, so I knew. So it was definitely creepy. There was a hole here. It's gone now. It's a foreboding line. Yeah, all right. The thing with the newspaper, that's really creepy, too. So I guess we should go check out Martin Street. I think there's a surprise waiting for us. Oh wait, did they... Did Bill skin fifth? Oh, okay. Change the camera. American Cafe and... What is that word? I can't tell. Oh, cater. There's any items down this alley. Cafe. 
have a mist. I wonder if that's a, a nod to the mist. It's a reference to Sounds of the Lambs. You know what enemy I find, I think it's probably the worst in the Silent Hill series. I hated, I hated uh, the Slurpers. It always seemed like bullshit to me because you can never really quite hit them with your melee weapon. <laughs> <laughs> you had to be at a certain distance away so it could strike the ground and they would just bum rush Heather and knock her down and then you'd be like prone for a couple seconds. Oh, they were so freaking annoying. But the ones I did not, oh shit, what were they called? Those, those metal ones that spin in the air, what are they called? I hated the sound of those ones in Silent Hill 3. Yeah, their design was cool, but just pendulums. I hated their sounds. It would just go right to my head. I was, uh, when I was streaming uh, last December and I was doing these back to back, by the third game, I was like, I have a headache. Could you just shut up? The cockroach sounds in this are kind of annoying. Where, where are you? Oh, there you are. Can I step on you? Really? Really? There we go. I thought, oh, there you are. I'm like, where's the guy? He got stuck. Oh, how's my health? Oh, that's fine. I do find it kind of funny. Oh, the dead guy right here? Kinda, he kind of looks like um, a lion figure just in a coat. Oh, now I'm dying. Okay. I do find it interesting that most most of the dead bodies we do find, they're all wearing a coat. Like, I mean, could they kind of look clean? It could just be. I know definitely the the one in the apartment is James, but I think it's interesting that the other ones are wearing a similar coat, similar kind of color scheme, showing dead James all over the place. Something. Ooh, groovy music. I love groovy music. <laughs> Baby's closet. Silent genius. Actually, I'm gonna turn this stuff down more. <laughs> Because I'm not killing them. The torn memo page is on the ground. Oh, I did it in the wrong order. <laughs> See, here's another James, just dead on the ground, no face. 
we get a comment on this dude? No? Okay. Ah, <sighs> since it didn't see anything. Blah, blah, blah. So start from the body and then go. I don't know. Did you see Eddie? Because he took uh, like six shots to the stomach with a shotgun. He was pretty tough. Run away. <laughs> well, there was a couple Silent Hill songs in in a GDR game. Didn't they have like Your Rain and You're Not Here? I know it was in the karaoke game. Med Center. Cocktails, let's go inside. Oh. Saw it as uh, well, they look like James. Maybe that he wanted to go kill himself. I don't, I don't know. I didn't really look too deeply into it, but that's something I could definitely look up, see if there's an actual answer. The only thing I saw was uh, James in front of the TV and in the painting in the prison, and that one was interesting because. It was somebody that Eddie had killed, and it was kind of like foreshadowing your fight with him a little bit. Cockroaches do not sound like that. Jesus Christ. Sound like a broken wheel. The door that wakes in darkness, opening to nightmares. That now just reminds me of only the dark one opens and closes the door to Silent Hill. Oh, uh, let's go. Let's go. Um, where's the door? Oh, the dead body. Well, the dead bodies in Silent Hill One, that were on the walls and whatnot, they were wearing the ceremonial robes from the cult, so they were just sort of uh, Alessa and her stuff with the cult. Like they were just cult stuff. I think they were kind of reflections of what she was wearing and kind of went through ahead of the ceremony. At least that's how I took it. I always thought it was weird because the the post the supposed robes look like a straight jacket. <laughs> uh, let's go inside. Door to darkness nonsense. <laughs> I really need to replay that. I have not played Kingdom Hearts one or two in over a decade. I'm kind of interested in playing three, but I would definitely need to replay the other two. Yeah, that's why they kind of look like him. They're clothed like him. So the ones in Silent Hill 1 were clothed like Alessa when she was... Well, we saw her clothed that way at the end of the game. I assume she was wearing something similar when she was... Her mom was putting her through the ritual. Hmm. A uh, funny story, uh, it's really dark in here without a flashlight, at least when I was playing on the PS2, my brother had this game, and I was playing his copy, and he got so frustrated he stopped playing because he couldn't see <laughs> in this part of the game. It's pretty clear right now, but it was, I remember it being really dark on the PS2 on my TV. Yeah, 
yeah, first try. All right. This is such a cool little scene here. Well, not scene, a uh, set, I should say. Environment, that's a better word. Environment, I just love this. Seeing uh, Mary's dress on a doll form. Oh, and look, can I kill this ahead of time? Let me see. Can I touch him? No. You will not ruin our jump scare by killing it ahead of time. All right, let's get our flashlight. You want a piece of me? Oh, wow, you did that. forget. Oh well, I'll figure it out. It was super dark. <laughs> oh, you know what I found out recently is you can block in this game uh, by just hitting the run button, but you can't be logged in onto anything. I never blocked in this game. <laughs> I think because I was always, whenever I was in front of an enemy, I'd always lock on to hit it. But yeah, if you do this, you're supposed to be able to block. I gotta definitely try that out. And over here, I didn't realize there was a note that kind of clued you in on how to get some of the other endings. So I believe so far I've gotten Leave and Rebirth on the saved game and UFO. So I wonder what it will tell me. Searching for another conclusion. Oh, that's giving me the in water. Okay. Choosing death. When life is filled with nothing but despair, some people choose to end it all. I once chose that path for myself as well. At the time, I felt that I had no other choices. After I made my decision, it became the only thing binding me into this world. Sometimes I would cry myself, cry to myself while thinking of the past, but mostly all I did was plan over and over again how and when I was going to kill myself. I did stupid, dangerous things. I figured it didn't matter since I was going to die anyway, so I went out of my way to invite disaster. I stopped talking to people, and it didn't bother me even when friendships grew distant. So yeah, it gives you kind of like a vague hint on what you need to do to get a different ending. So obviously in water, you need to uh kind of act suicidal you need to let your health get down really low and not heal right away um look at sad things like angela's knight or depressing things like angela's knife uh the memo on the hospital roof uh listen to i believe the doctor's tape in the hotel and the whole merry conversation in the hallway um, yeah, those are kind of creepy. What the hell? Uh, yeah, I didn't actually know about it until my friend asked me to check if it was in the Greatest Hits version of the game, and it wasn't. I guess they forgot to implement it or something, but it wasn't on the PS2 copy that I, I had owned. Um, my favorite ending, hmm, I typically get leave because I, I like happy endings, but after listening to Bob kind of talk about the Maria ending and why he liked it so much, I've started to really like it myself because I think that is the, is what James would do. I don't think he'd learn his lesson because he's, I don't know. I also like Rebirth, to the whole fact of him trying to do some some ritual to to uh, uh, bring back Mary, but the canon ending is obviously the dog ending, of course. How do I- oh, there we go. Alright. I'm sure you guys 
y'all may already know this by now, but this uh, apartment complex is based on a real apartment complex in the Bay Area. I think it's SF. So the story goes, I, I heard about this from the Retronauts podcast. Tom Hewlett was on. This is back in 2009. It was before Shadow Man was had come out. And they had him on as a guest and, to talk about, you know, people on Tower Hill facts. And he mentioned... Ah! Oh, Paying attention. I bet there's bullets in here. Fine, I'm gonna fight you. Oh, let's try blocking. Look. Okay, hold on. Actually, you know what? I'll just turn the radio off. Oh, it just volume. That better. Uh, what was I saying about the- okay. So he was on a podcast back in like 2009, the Retronauts podcast. It was the One Up show podcast, and he was giving them a little Sun Hill, fun little facts, and he brought up Sun Hill too. And he said that when the staff was here doing research, because Konami's office used to be in Redwood City, which is just across the bay from me. Uh, they were doing like location scouting, looking for architecture and what that whatnot and they had a Konami staffer with them and he was showing them around different different apartment buildings and they weren't liking anything they saw and I guess he forgot his jacket or something at home and he had to go pick it up and they followed him there and as soon as he looked like let them in they just started taking pictures they were so enamored with his apartment building and they're like it's perfect and I don't know if that was a bummer for him <laughs> to be like, oh man, my apartment building is perfect for this this game? Okay. <laughs> or whatnot. Oh, hello, Mexican Flyer! Yeah, I, 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 I was still disappointed. He didn't know exactly what apartment building it was. <laughs> I would have loved to see it. <laughs> I should try the, uh, hyper- Oh, oops. Ah! No! I don't care! Ugh! Wrong button. Sorry, I'm in dino crisis mode still. Okay... Where's my hyper spray? Here it is. I never really use this, because you can hurt him. Uh... Is that hurting him? I can't tell. Die! Okay, he's just... Is this a glitch? <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> I was like, it's not doing anything. Oh, wrong button. Uh, good to know. Oh, I should try this. Where'd you go? Oh, item. <laughs> Ooh. You 
can kill bugs. Oh, okay. I thought maybe it was he was glitching or something. All right. Well, now I know. Definitely something I should bring up in the Let's Play when I record. Oh, another fun fact. Doesn't it say, like, badass or something? Maybe it's on the other side. Okay, I can't read it. It does not look like badass. Or is that a different game? Maybe that was... Oh, you did it! Awesome! Where, where are you? Where are you? I hear you. Are you in the bathroom? Nope. Oh God, you're so loud. Okay. Oh, there you are. Stop hitting the map button, Whitney. Ugh. Nope. Ugh. That's a map button. That's not the right button either. Get the hang of this. <laughs> the it's on the stairway, right? Look at you guys, twinsies! Wait. It's a, a door that just got plastered over. <laughs> That's funny. downstairs. I'm an idiot. It's on the wall, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> I just walked right by it. <laughs> Alright, now I got the map. Yeah, okay. And that's like the second most powerful spray. I do know that it can hurt James, and that's about it, the, the hyper spray. But it seems kind of um, unwieldy to use, in my opinion. I find most of the special weapons in Silent Hill are pretty crap when compared to the, you know, the normal weapons. Like, I did not like the chainsaw or the, or the rock drill in Silent Hill 1. The katana was pretty cool. And the Hyper Blaster, I guess, was pretty cool. Especially because it could target enemies through walls. But other than that, the other ones kind of sucked. Though I did see a video of someone using the Great Knife to take out, um... Oh my gosh. Getting it up on them. Oh, I need to get the juice. Oh, that's the one that's on the stairs. Oh, I'm not supposed to be here yet. to meet Laura. What was I saying? Oh, I was talking about the weapons. I'm trying to read the graffiti. Okay. Oh, in Silent Hill 2, they were really excited that um, because of the PS2 capabilities, they were able to actually um, make shadows with the creatures and whatnot with the flashlight so that's why you can see you know items on the walls and the enemies they were really enamored with being able to do that 
instead of using your arm, why don't you take that stick you're holding and kind of knock it closer to you? This always bothered me. It's like, come on, James, use your head. Try, try, uh, try putting your stick through there. No? Okay. Laura's hilarious. This, this sound is pretty creepy. The heavy breathing. Akira's sound work is so awesome. Mm. I can't, oh, I can get the gun right now, right? And I was looking at the, the textures, trying to find um, farm ideas and the uh, butter cakes uh, to make a, a sweatshirt for Bob. And I found that this this cart says Long's Drugs. <laughs> this is funny because whenever I saw it, I always thought of Long's Drugs and it actually is a Long's Drugs uh, cart. I don't know if you guys have that. Uh, where you live, it's a it's a chain. It's like um, pharmacy drugstore here in uh, California. I guess it makes sense since they were uh, doing a lot of their research here that that might that might pop up. And according to Lost Memories, they said that this is sort of like a commentary on how easy it is to get a gun in the in the United States. It's like a little shopping cart. I do like the bullet holes in the walls and all the shell casings. It's a pretty cool little room. Very iconic. And it's just strange. Yeah, no more items? Okay. All right, let's go meet our buddy. He's waiting for us downstairs. How'd you get up here? <laughs> wow, I just walked right into it. Oh yes, that was uh, Rorik. He was talking about... I actually didn't hear it in the game. He said it was uh, in the scene when when Harry's telling Sybil a uh, story about adopting Cheryl. But I was looking through my game footage and it wasn't actually there. But on the soundtrack that Fungo had ripped, the, the, the file name was talking about the the carousel. So I think that's why he thought that was what played on the carousel. I didn't actually hear it in the game. It must, it must have been somewhere, but it wasn't the scene that he mentioned in the, uh, in the actual podcast. But yeah, I never noticed the whole, the electronic humming or whatever noises. It did actually sound like voices when I was listening to it. The first time you you what heard the 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 music? Not all textures, obviously. But wait. Oh yeah. You you would see a lot of like repeating textures. Just together. Oh, where the all the enemies go? That's strange. Hmm. I wonder if something scared them away. But what could it be? Ooh, you might be right. I'll have to, I'll have to double check. Because I definitely remember hearing it somewhere, but it just wasn't at the... Uh... Yes, it is! It's when you go through the door and, and he goes, why is it so dark? It's that... Yeah, you're right. You're correct. Hmm, okay. Uh, I guess let's go meet our... F oh, is there an item in here? No. Okay. 
stuck. What was that? Some kind of noise. You could have said someone screamed. Unless you're playing the HD collection, then you could barely hear it. Spooky. I like how he glows red without the flashlight. Boop. 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 Stop. Go. Stop. Go. This, this, uh, introduction to, uh, Red Pyramid thing is, is super cool. It's very menacing. Uh. It's, he's, he's just standing there. You know, minding its own business. It's very, like, what the hell is that? I love it. Alright, let's go check out what made that noise. Oh, hey! <laughs> hey, everybody, this is a uh, uh, Pugalug. This is John, aka a Racionator. He was on my uh, charity stream. He's also the friend I mentioned who worked on the Enhanced Edition. Yeah, I'm just sort of going through the game uh, to familiarize myself with everything and try to figure out what I want to uh, show off. Oh, I do have a question for you. Uh, I was going through the beginning of the game and you know the covered uh, bridge and the newspaper and whatnot on the ground. I looked down and one of them looked like it was Hitler. Is Hitler in the game? <laughs> I figured if anybody would know, it would be you. <laughs> he also runs a really great Silent Hill 2 fan site. It's uh, at igotaletter.com. Uh, best Silent Hill 2 fan site. It's been up for years. Uh, his original design was really cool. He had animated uh, characters and music. And he also has a really kick-ass Silent Hill collection. A lot of cool items. Like, in fact, I remember the splash page for your website would play this, this tune with the Red Pyramid Head we just met outside. Oh look, it's James! Oh, and fun fact, they reused this model for Harry in Silent Hill 3. They just changed his face. Oh my god. Who could have... Okay, so it really is Hitler? Okay, I couldn't get a really clue, uh, uh, clue, clear look at it, but it really did look like Hitler. Well, there is that one guy, um, Silent Hill Theories, he did like a bunch of video, of videos about the connection between Silent Hill 2 and, and Hitler and Bay of Pigs and James was Hitler. I, it's been years since I watched it, but it was pretty off the wall. Jimmy Hoffa, was that it? Oh shit, I gotta find those videos. They're really long. Uh, it's writing on the clock. Scars from the past shall remove the nail that stops time. No. What's this? Oh, oh, you don't know? Oh, okay. I'll have to point. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll point it out to you uh, a little later. When I put this up online, I'll, I'll give you the time stamp and you can tell me if you recognize the texture. Henry Mildred Scott. So this is a really easy puzzle. Uh, Henry H, that stands for the hour hand. Mildred M, minutes, and Scott, seconds. I don't think that changes with um, the puzzle difficulty, does it? I don't think. I'm playing on normal puzzle difficulty, so I'm not sure. Oh, it's locked. Come on, James, just take your... Okay, that's not working. Uh... Okay, I gotta go to 202. Oh, 
Oh, I see you guys are back now. That my friend is gone. My buddy. Move. <laughs> really? Really? If a cockroach kills me, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> uh, I'm too lazy to kill the monsters. Anything. Yep, oh, no, it's 205. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. All my health items. You guys are gonna make me kill you, aren't you? Oh, why is this glowy? Uh, I wish I could move the camera. playing on hard. I've never played on hard before. Hello, pixelated moths. How are you doing? Oh, are they supposed to be butterflies? Seriously, what is making that glow? What is that glow coming from? Got green slime. Too dark to tell for sure, but I think there's something going on on the other side of the hole. No, I'm not an idiot. Okay, let's do it. I do thought it was a little neat. I mean, I know Homecoming cribbed a lot from Silent Hill 2, <gasps> but the the scene with Alex putting his hand in and you got the vibration, you're like, oh, it's just a repeat of Silent Hill 2. No, if you do not get your hand out, he'll get it chopped out off. I thought that was pretty cool. All right, let's go move that clock. Sure is. His next test is gonna come up soon. Ugh. I'm sorry, I don't think I'd ever stick my hand in a poopy toilet. the blood's like that, it's like someone took his head and just slammed it on the corner of the TV. Is that how he died? I mean, his face is all bloody, so maybe. So. Then I'm like 9.15 or something. Ten. Oh, I got it. Oh, look, it has a little, it has a little watch in it. That's cute. Gunshot to the back of the head. Oh, maybe. Wait, is it nine? Or three? 
three, I can't remember. Let's just look at it again. No, it's nine, okay. Actually, I'm gonna look at the TV again. Okay, it does go kinda in the front. I don't know, I just thought there would be more of a, a spray, like on the wall behind the TV if he was shot in the back of the head. Hmm. Let's push this. Oh yeah, dad butts. I think his butt's too flat. I like how we cannot hear the static anymore, even though we're just a room away. <laughs> oh, fun thing about the sound. Uh, when they were making this game for Sony, they gave them a sound library thing. Sound Forge or something. It, it was a new technology at the time, which allowed them to uh, give sound like a direction. So if something was coming from behind the door, uh, it players could hear it coming from like that side of the room or whatever. That was like a new technology. So you could hear an enemy before you would actually see it on, on, on screen. So things would get louder or softer. Uh, I don't think there's any. Oh yeah, I'll drink. I should probably save. Considering that I'm running into every single enemy and getting my ass handed to me by a cockroach. <laughs> no, jackal, jackal jiggle works as well, too. Mm, let's go get the key. Hey baby, where are you going? Okay, bye. Is this the nope. <sighs> I just love running into your acid. It's great. Oh, excuse me. I'm I'm so sorry. I'll just hide in here and curve out on the, the behind the closet doors. No, no issue there. What's up? I guess you can see me, huh? friends. Okay. Pyramid Head's like, what the hell? I was trying to invite you, man. You just shoot my face. Forget you then. Bye. So I've not seen this movie, but apparently this is uh, similar to a scene in Blue Velvet. I'll have to I'll have to watch it so I can talk about it in my Let's Play, but it's been mentioned. Courtyard key. S-Force Technology! That was a name I could not think of. Bounce off the shapes of our ears to fool our ear senses into thinking it's 3D. Oh, I didn't get that much of a description of what it was. That's kind of cool. Uses this 3D audio technology. Oh, it doesn't use it for all of it, though? 
Well, I just assumed they did because the way they were talking about it in interviews, it was like a whole new technology they were really into using. Do you know what? Uh, oh, I am. I mean, I do have headphones on right now. Do you, you have any idea what like specific areas they went hog wild with? Is it like when you hear glass crashing and stuff in the hospital? dead again. SFX use S Force based on my research. Oh, okay. Oh, when she's uh right before you go and fight her dad. Oh, I wonder if the the scream before you see uh, Pyramid Head was one. I mean, kind of, it did sound a little bit far away. Mm, okay. <laughs> oh. How many of you guys tried to drink the juice? I know I did. I was like, oh! Oh, I can't drink it? Okay. No, I, I think it was, hers probably would have used it. I mean, that's a key moment. I mean, if that was any time they were gonna use it, if they used it sparingly, it would definitely be, I think, one of the times. Upstairs. <sighs> There's a trash chute. There's some kind of strange garbage stuck in the hole. You know, you could also just take your stick and poke it. You didn't have to find juice, my man. Haha, <laughs> I miss me. Oh, wrong way, Whitney. I know, right? But, you know, given where it is, I'm sure it's probably expired. Though, there's all these health drinks around. Those aren't expired. So maybe the juice was good. Old man. What's this? Some gossip magazine, eh? 
The police announced today that Walter Sullivan, who was arrested on the 18th of this month for the brutal murder of Billy Locaine and his sister Miriam, committed suicide in his jail cell early on the morning of the 22nd. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a soup spoon to stab himself in the neck, sever severing his carotid artery because he, he was really metal. By the time the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss, the spoon buried two inches in his neck. An old schoolmate of Walter Sullivan's from his hometown of Pleasant River said, He didn't look like the type of guy who would kill kids. But I do remember that just before they arrested him, he was blurting out all sorts of strange stuff like, He's trying to kill me. He's trying to punish me, the monster, the red devil, forgive me, I did it, but it wasn't me. The schoolmate then added, I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. Great interview there, dude. Yeah, I did like, uh, I did like the story of... Are my fonts in HD? Uh... No, I don't think so. Or maybe they are. I can't tell. I mean, they're not super crisp, so I guess not. So I did like the story of Silent Hill 4. It's always just the gameplay I just was not a fan of. Because I always thought it was creepy, the whole serial killer stalking you. That aspect was really neat. I am sad that they took out the whole pyramid head roaming the apartments out of this. That would have been really creepy. Pool party! <laughs> oh man, I just walked right into it. Bye guys. I don't want to be in the pool party anymore. Yeah, that would- <laughs> that'd be an awesome demo. I wonder if anybody actually does own it, and if they do, they have not mentioned owning it. At least I've never heard of someone owning it. Okay, this is the right way. Ah! I heard that the game will not allow you to meet with Angela before talking to Eddie. So I want to see if that's right. Oh my god, there's a whole bunch of them. Ah! Please don't kill me. Oh, I can't go to hell. Okay. Silent Hill. Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice, restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. The Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. Hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. 
editor, Roger Woodmark. Oh, you did? Well, I did go in the room uh, briefly. <laughs> There's a lot more enemies. Because usually I can just run by most of them. I thought they weren't supposed to see me without my flashlight. <laughs> as enjoyable. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm back here. Oh. Wait, what room is, is Angela supposed to be in? Oh, is it that, that room when I missed it? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> he does do that a lot. <laughs> I feel like I do actually have to clear hallways and stuff, play on hard. So I guess it's adding more of a challenge because this game is usually pretty easy. But the hallways seem very, very crowded. Hey, what room is, um, Angela in? Not this way. Oh. Okay, well, I don't want to have to circle back, so let's go meet Eddie.
Alright. What the? Who could have done this? Apparently the guy's naked too. Come on, Eddie, what's your issue? Here. You stripped him as well? I always thought whenever we uh, saw the dead bodies, they were people that Eddie had killed. Like, because we see with Angela, I should probably just go talk to him so I can get away from the barfing sound. <laughs> Yo. You're willingly sitting on the floor. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. Do what? I didn't do anything. I, I swear. He was like this when I got here. <coughs> my, uh, my name's James. James Sunderland. Um, Eddie. Eddie. Who's that dead guy in the kitchen? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill anybody. I don't believe you. You're not friends with that red pyramid. <laughs> red pyramid thing? I don't know what you're talking about. Honest. But I did see some weird looking monsters. They scared the hell out of me. So I ran in here. <laughs> well. I guess this place isn't too safe either. What happened here anyway? Uh, I, I told you. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not even from this town. Uh. I just... I just... <sighs> you too, huh? Something just brought you here. Right? Uh, uh, yeah. You could say that. Well, whatever it is, I think you better get out of here soon. Yeah, you're right. What about you? I'll leave as soon as I'm done here. Business to Eddie, take care, take care of. Be careful. Like you were just wandering James, around I, aimlessly. I am. Um, you be careful too. I wish you'd remember that in a couple hours. Uh. Oh, he's not puking anymore. Uh, wait, you got to again, right? Hey, buddy, how you doing? Eddie, are you okay? Yeah, I guess. I'm still, like, hanging over a toilet. And... I, I'm done dry heaving though, so that's a plus. Eddie, are you okay? Yeah. Oh, I thought you guess. Think this is something different. I guess Angela only gets that. Uh, what is? Is that a hose? Eddie, are you okay? Like. Yeah, I guess. I was trying to see the hose. Okay, I guess I can't see it anymore. Oh, there we go. That's weird. I wish I could do the zoom thing like I do in Silent Hill 1. So... Is this poster the one that says Konami on it? Yeah, it does in the corner! You can see Konami. In other weird English. Face... Bear... Liar... I don't know. Pro... Football. Pro football of power sports. I wonder what player is that a real player? I don't really follow football, so. Oh. That seems like a lot of work, though. <laughs> I wish there was an in game way I could just do it. <laughs> like with Silent Hill 1. I remember the first time I played it, I got stuck in this room because I I didn't realize where the doorway was. So I just kept doing this, like, wait, how do I get out? <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh no. 
because I wouldn't go right here. Uh, all right, we met Eddie. So. I have to go to back to the front. Hi, princess. Okay. Mm. I guess I should probably heal myself. Oh, he still has a plus. Wow, I use a bunch of my health drinks. Okay, I think I should probably play on normal when I do my let's play. Because I'm wasting a lot of items. the wrong door. <sighs> this game is pretty cool. Yeah, they want James to join- okay, so there's two two hell doors. You need to make up your mind, Silent Hill. Which door leads to hell? I didn't realize that graffiti actually repeated, so that's kind of funny. <laughs> Music gets intense again! That is true. Oh my gosh. I hate you guys, you're stupid acid. I don't want any, okay? I'm drug free. Woo! No. I have to physically use my key. Wait. Did I not pick up a key? Oh no. Uh, was there a key where Eddie was? And I just forgot it. Hey, at least it's not as bad as when I forgot to pick up the rifle. That sucked. Because then I didn't know how to defeat pyramid heads <laughs> without the rifle. I was very bummed about that. Try blocking it. I don't remember. Where where do I find the key that unlocks the door? Is it with Eddie? <laughs> oh my god, you freaking pick it up! I'm an idiot. Wait, I picked it up. 
Oh, wait! The cockroach killed me and I never went back to go get it. <laughs> no, I got that one. That one opened the courtyard. I thought. You dead. Now you're dead. Wait, let me make sure. No, it would have opened it up if I picked it up. Yeah, this game, like every time I play it, I, I see something new. Like I saw Hitler today, and I didn't realize he was in this game. I don't know if it was really Hitler. I know, I didn't find hard mode for Silent Hill 1 that difficult, but this one's annoying. Normal's too easy and hard mode's just frustrating. You are, you stupid key. Okay. I think I need to heal him. I don't know. Just a hunch I have. J John, do you know why they, uh, they put this big cross for the PC port? And not uh, in the PS2 version of the game. Uh, the cross that's blinking on the bottom of the screen. That's true. Okay. Oh, I should probably save just in case a cartridge kills me. Oh yeah, it, it vibrates for me, the 360 controller I'm using. James is just hoping for the in-water ending. That's why he keeps getting attacked. Yeah, apparently he is. Because I am not playing very well. Maybe they knocked it down when they built the building next door. I think I can get into the building next door if I go through the window in front of me. I thought this was a cool little uh, nod to Silent Hill 2 in the movie when... Uh, uh, Rose cut the painting and then crossed into the next building and then lost her knife like a dipshit. Oh yeah, it does. Uh, I didn't realize that either until I was watching other people play the PC version. Alright, let's stick our hand in a dirty toilet. So, okay, if I was in the situation and it looked like somebody was stuck on the toilet, I'd take that 2x4 and kind of just fish it in there and see if I could feel something, not put my hand in, but that's just me. Looks like a wallet. There's some kind. Oh, I should probably write this down. Those are my Dino Crisis notes. Okay, so. I am playing on normal uh, Riddle because I didn't feel like. I had enough puzzles with, with Dino Crisis. I really didn't want to show how inept I am <laughs> with this. So, three. Oops. 
three and twelve. Did I miss the door? I did. Alrighty. So. Okay, 17. 14. Ugh, oh man, I fucked it up. I swear this dial, I had trouble with it during the uh, stream as well. Okay, so we get back to 17. bunch of them because I got frustrated at the lying figures. Oh, health drink costs. Awesome. Uh, wrong button. <laughs> I'm running. I've run out of health. <laughs> this is a first. kind of understood why he was more of a, a hard ass while doing the mission. It, it kind of seemed a little... I wish he was straight with them from the get-go about the mission because I felt like he was, he was just up front with Regina about what they were really there for. Uh, he would have a, lots of a tr problem convincing her to do shit. The, ah! Oh, I don't have a map? Oh, the map's in the stairwell. Oops. Ah. But I was, what I did see, uh, blah, blah, blah. what I did find really sad was the ending with Gail dying was a lot longer and I really wish I did that. Because <laughs> the one where everybody lived, it was like so short. They were basically on the boat or the helicopter and that was it. But with Gail, you had like more backstory and then you... You got on the boat, but then the T-Rex came after you, like, twice. Yeah. So, I guess I, 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 uh... Yeah, this is the point I didn't, I didn't go with Gail's plan. I shouldn't have saved it right after I made the choice. Uh... It's 209, the... Dear Tim, I have to run an errand, so I'm going out. I left the house key with Uncle David. You know where he lives, don't you? The key is in the room near the first floor staircase. I'll be back as soon as I can. So please watch the place while I'm gone. Okay. God damn it. Anyway. Bear. 
Oh, I thought that was a health drink. Oh, I'm bummed. Oh, I missed it! Aw. I never hear the whispering, and I totally missed it this time if there was whispering. Check out that lampshade, which looks normal. That's something they fixed in the Enhanced Edition. The texture was off on one of them. I thought it was the whisper that was nonsense words. I, I, I always liked the juxtaposition of these two doors. You know, you had the white door and then the blue door with all the planks of wood over it. Wasn't I think there was a theory it was supposed to represent like how Angela saw herself or it could be like a another Maria Mary symbolism yeah the the one that whispers James that you're thinking of is in the hotel and that's when you uh you can only hear it once so it's when you go up the stairs and the gate's locked You'll hear someone go, Jane, well, someone, you'll hear Mary say James when you turn around to walk down, but it'll only happen the once. Yeah, you, uh, someone asked him in an interview. I remember it did, uh, it's on your website. I was looking at your articles to find some interesting stuff. And I came across an article with the uh, interview. He oh, it's you. on it. Yeah, I'm James. <sighs> Angela. Angela, okay. I don't know what you're planning, but there's always another way. Really? But you're the same as me. It's easier just to run. Besides, is what we deserve. No, I'm not like you. Are you afraid? I... I'm sorry. It's okay. Did you find your mother? Not yet. She's not anywhere. Did she live in this apartment building? I don't know. So, all you know is she lived in this town. What did you say? How do you know that? Well, I just figured, because this is where you're looking for her. How else would I know? Yeah. Am I right? I'm so tired. So, why did you come to this town anyway? I... I I'm sorry. Did... did you find the person you're looking for? Not yet. Her name's Mary. She's my wife. I'm sorry. It's okay. Anyway, she's dead. I don't know why I think she's here. She's dead? Don't worry. I'm not crazy. At least, I don't think so. That little laugh makes you sound crazy, James. Uh, I'm sorry. I've got to find my mama. Should I go with you? This town's no. dangerous. Now I know what you meant back there in the cemetery. I'll be okay by myself. Besides, I'd just slow you down. What about that? Will you hold it for me? Sure. No problem. If I kept it, I'm not sure what I might do.
It's a nice way to focus on the corner oh, there where the coin is. I'd be bad. Please don't. Okay, bye. I'm I'm interested in seeing that uh that let's play as well. <laughs> I love watching people's first reactions to games I love. Um, you know now, whenever I hear this track, all I can think of is the Silent Hill movie. Because they, they use this track a lot. about this map. A painting? Is this... That's a painting of a map? Okay. What, this angle? Yeah, he, maybe he's a tall dude. here. Huh. Cool. Alright. So, do I have all the coins? Hi. Oh, I do. Okay. Okay, it's 11-11. I think I can do the coin puzzle. Let's... Ah! like dying and I don't have health. I guess I'm getting the in water ending. <laughs> I forgot I have to do the puzzle first. Is that what opens it? Okay. Three bright coins. At one end sits the seducer of she. Furthest from they. Inside the serpent sits not. Uh, okay. I don't know. Is this end? Ah, controller's shaking. Hmm. 
paper, there's a space behind her. Okay, I did not do that right. <laughs> Let me read the poem again. Okay. One inch. It's a, oh, that's a snake. Okay. Okay, there's a blank hole on the wall. Almost one null lies the furthest from they. So, is it snake and the woman on one side? Oh. Oh, the prisoner's left that he did throth. So he's the left of the woman. Okay, I think I got it. <sighs> no, nope, nope. Ah. So Is he over here by himself? And then... Woman... Here... Dang it! Ugh. Uh, I'm gonna look it up because I am tired. It's puzzle crisis all over again. Coin puzzle. Oh man, hard is hella harder. Thank God I didn't do that puzzle difficulty. Okay, so hold on. Yeah, where's the answer? It didn't give me the answer. Why? Fuck. Okay, IGN. Here we go. I'm on normal difficulty. Okay, empty. Coin. Oh! That's why I fucked up. I didn't put. Oh, I kept putting her right next to the snake. Okay. Oh, man, I'm dumb. Okay. Okay, so. It goes. Empty. There we go. Okay, there's a space, right? Two. No. She's next to here. And then, then, then the space, and then the snake. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, you found the Let's Player? Cool. Minute 110 to... Okay, I'll have to check that out. Oh, check that out. Okay. I wonder if I could... Do, okay, you said two oh nine, right? Is the whisper? I could I could still listen to it. Right, let's see if I can Oh, I went the wrong way. Oops. 
What's that weird growling noise? Is that the line figure? Or the mannequin? Okay. Let's see if I can hear it. Is it in the room or outside the room? Because I might have to kill some enemies if it's outside the room. <laughs> Okay, I never heard of that before. That's so good. Cool. Yay! Alright, uh... Okay, I need health. Please give me a health item, because... James is gonna die. They're not gonna give me a health item, are they? Sorry, James. You're probably gonna die. If I can make it to Pyramid Head, that'd be great. Ran out of the room from the uh, from the whisper. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. I think I saved it right before. Okay. Wait. Oh. I should say. Oh, I can't. I have to save it right outside the door because it won't let me save it in the room. Okay, let's try that again. Two, no life. Come on, James, you could do it. Wow, I thought I was gonna die right there. I was like, what? That's it, right away. Ah! Absolutely. Camera angle. Oh, I'm Open the inventory. 
story. Lost the game, that's how I'm going. Oh. Yeah. Let's, let's, let me see how long it takes on hard, because I know on normal it's like seven minutes. It's so small. Okay. Rip. Reload. Okay, I could do this. 340 bullets. Let's do it. Alright, let's go. Oh, I should probably turn it down. Because. Okay. Do, 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 do. 
No, I have not. <laughs> I had a hard enough time just on normal. <laughs> Given my performance right now, I should tell you that I should not play on a screen. Oh shit, I'm in, in the corner! Oh good god. Ah! Help! I should use my analog stick, not my uh... Oh. Apparently he can't touch me because I'm so low on health. Okay. <laughs> okay. Reload. Reload. Boom. me because I'm so low on health. <laughs> wow. for me. No, 
I suck at boss fights in small rooms. This way it's all survival horror. Yes, what there is. Nope, James, good crap, damn it. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Okay. Take this one shirt off. <sighs> All right. I hate it because then I get stuck in a corner and then he gets me with his stupid knife. Oh. <laughs> said on Twitter that he wasn't fucking the monsters, so... But it looks very sexual. So I could see it uh, in James's frustrations of not getting sexy very. What? Need to land 34 handgun shots? Okay. I don't know how many. This would be like 60 something for hard. <sighs> I need this to stop. I'm get better at dodging. It seems it's like I. I, I uh... the directional controls because analog stick's not working out for me. Oh. Let's see how many I have 340. So um, 280 maybe two okay. Uh. I'll try that. He won't like grab me though. Oh. This wall, right? gets me is when I'm trying to get around him, I run right into him. <sighs> because of the camera angle. You should be running one side side? Okay. Oh! I didn't know I could do that. Okay. So this is kind of like a... Oh! Ah! Oops. Can I do a circle thing like I do with Jane? Uh, with Harry? Can he run in circles? That would be awesome. Type to run. Oh. Okay. Should be running when sidestepping. Where do I change my be in this section? Okay, game options. Oh. Oh, I can adjust bullets. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. 
This bad if I had a little bit of life. Because I was doing pretty well. Oh, now I gotta get out of the habit of hitting the run Did I? I think I did. Uh, I can check. Let's check. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, I can't get touched at all. <laughs> okay. I can make it. I can make it. Damn it, camera. Fighting the camera, I don't. He just got killed by a mannequin. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Camera, seriously, can you help me out here? Can you get behind me? I don't think I can make it to the laundry room. <laughs> Noticing the difficulty? Yeah, with I have no life. Okay. I don't, I don't know. Can I go in here? No. If the camera would just go behind James, it would be cool. Well. <laughs> Something tells me. I'm gonna start over on normal difficulty. <laughs> oh, this is this is fun. 
funny though. Wow. I was always complaining about how easy this game was. I just never played it on hard. I remember during the stream though, I, Eddie got stuck on one of those meat bag things. And yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try Pyramid Head one more time because I can't make it to the laundry room apparently. Oh, I did it. Oh, I'm pushing the fine button. I'm like, why is he not working? be starting this over on normal because obviously hard is not for me <laughs> especially when I use up all my health items on cockroaches <laughs> so um thank you everybody for watching sorry I couldn't beat pyramid head <laughs> uh, but I will tweet out if I can actually make it uh, to stream tomorrow if not, I'll try to stream on Saturday. Yeah. It is an exercise in frustration. <laughs> uh, oh well. Thank you for watching. <laughs> now I definitely know I'm not going to play this on hard for my Let's Play. No siree. Not unless I get good, which is not going to happen in like two days. <laughs> you guys have a great night, and this should be on the YouTube channel sometime in the morning. You guys have a great day, and I'll James, talk honey, to you all later. Did something happen Bye. to you?